Hello fellow warriors against consensus reality. Lovers of truth, wisdom, knowledge, the seeking of the esoteric path. Looking within a quiet morning overcast, which is great considering it's summer here. And oh how I loathe summer. Oh how I loathe sun, sand and surf. I cannot convey to you people just how much I hate it. In the words of Gollum, we hate it, we hate it forever. Yeah, you know, real Gollum, Peter Woodthorpe, not anti circus, right? Gollum didn't sound like a cat coughing up a fur ball. Thanks. Dear, oh dear. But I digress. It's, um, it's been good. I have been resuming my tradition of reading A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens at this time of the year. I've been doing it almost every year since I was 13. And I haven't done it for a while, I just haven't felt the festive spirit for a while, actually. But uh, I thought I would re resurrect it again this year, and I have been thoroughly enjoying it. Especially from the comfort of my cafe in town, at the outdoor seating area that I enjoy. Especially when it's like this kind of weather, it's great. But, um, yeah, I've... I've been coming to quite uh, quite a few realizations, and uh, the important one is to the importance of disconnecting more from the brainwashing propaganda machine called mainstream media, um, where even in pop culture commentary kind of videos you know the fandom menace kind of channels um, I just think too much time is spent on what's the woke movement doing well, let's talk about the woke elements of this film or that TV series uh, I've just come to realize that all that is a, an incredible waste of time we should be doing something positive and productive for our own selves whether that be spending less time listening to these kind of videos to um, going getting out of the house sitting somewhere and um, reading a book reading real literature doing some personal research if you're interested in a topic comparative religion or whatever it may be um, get out the laptop and start writing something I mean hell go for a walk go for a good long walk um, get the the endorphins and the positive vibes flowing um, get off the couch do some exercise um, turn off the media turn off social media for a while and find your own inner balance again. And, uh, as I was laying in bed now, trying to wake up and uh, trawling through some of these videos on YouTube, and they were talking about th this post wall so and so has an opinion on MGTOW and men, and she was going on about the gender pay gap and all this fucking fake crap um, as far as that goes I mean let, let's put it to bed once and for all um, in any modern country it has been illegal for well geez a good 60 years to pay someone less money for exactly the same job based on their gender religion race etc 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 um, so when you compare the average earning of a man to the average earning of a woman and 
compare the difference um, well you can't really do that because it's men that are doing the more physically demanding dangerous higher paying jobs um, being an, an admin assistant in a cushy comfortable air conditioned office t um, till 3 p.m. so you can pick up the little kitties from school is rather different than being um, say an inner city um, construction worker working 12 hours a day that's really rather different isn't it now no they're not going to be paid the same money and um, when you see women trying to get into construction all you all you do is see them with those silly signs sort of try not not to make it obvious that they're texting on their phones and uh, <laughs> dressed in a construction worker outfit which is really fucking silly because they do absolutely none of it. Um, no ladies, you don't get to do that. Being a shop assistant somewhere is a lot different than being, say, an, a, a mechanical engineer on an oil rig. Okay, yeah. The latter job is going to get be to pay a whole lot more than your of than your shop assistant job. Okay. So let's put all that to bed. Firstly, the gender pay gap is a myth. If women were paid less for exactly the same job, there would be nothing but women in the workplace. Because hiring women would mean a profit for any CEO, right? But I digress. Just all these things now, when I come across all these things, especially it might be, you know, MGTOW videos and talking about women who hit the wall and all the same fucking unimportant crap. Um, what you should be doing is focusing on your own life. How can you make your, your, your life better? How can you make yourself happier in this increasingly fearful, fucked up world we live in where... It's the festive season and there are so few people with actual joy and goodwill written on their faces. Let alone um, so few places with any kind of de festive season decorations. and uh, Which is really quite sad. I mean, traditionally has been a fun time of the year. Where people's hearts were perhaps a little bit lighter as a result. But not this year. People are absolute gobshites. So you, you do what you can for yourself, you work on yourself, and um, you put aside the fake edgy Disney Lucasfilm apologist assholes trying to um, be total gobshites in the comment section of wonderful people's um, videos like the above mentioned OG Star Wars. Um, trying to take something that she said and take it way out of proportion and be this fake edgelord who's blah 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 fuck knows what um, and even I sort of took the piss out of this person and said um, I'll be saying okay well, what's what's the solution about Star Wars you know, and I said okay you want to know what the solution is we need to um, take Star Wars from Disney, sell it to a company who actually cares, um, totally ignore everything that Disney has released and start again. Now since that's never going to happen, all we have left is the EU books and that's why we focus on those. And when I give a fuck if Kathleen Kennedy decanonized them or whatever, 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 to those of us who have been Star Wars fans for over 40 years, this is the real Star Wars. The only thing we have left with real Star Wars. Okay? So there it is. And, uh, and at the end I said, gee, it must be exhausting being so keeping up this fake, edgy facade. And then uh, he, she, it responded with, laugh out loud, um, what did I say that was fake, edgy? So then I realise, okay, this person's going to be um, 
a waste of my time and energy so I that's when you ignore someone um, person's ego mind usually won't allow that and it will keep a person engaged in any kind of conflict on and on and on and on but no you let it go release learn the wonderful world of release right because that's really saving yourself a lot of unnecessary energy loss all right and um when you look at some of these videos that you used to spend so much time on and you might you might realize you know what this is actually boring the fuck out of me now well then it's time to put that aside and move on to something more helpful more enjoyable more productive and you know what that's okay it's okay to do that you don't have to be stuck in one sort of mindset that you were at one point of time in your life it is okay to grow and progress and expand right um yeah i think i'll leave it there i have been sort of reclaiming some of the festive spirit i mean it doesn't help that most people are snitching gobshites i mean i left my once beloved cafe behind because it's being haunted by two snitching mask policing gobshites that I mentioned in past videos and um, a mutual friend whom I saw yesterday who actually had a coffee at my new cafe had a nice little chat with him actually um, where I was having coffee with a friend and um, the previous time I saw him he um, the owner of my old cafe asked why I haven't been around and uh, he told him that it was because of us being treated like yellow star wearing people during World War Two. Um, but I mean, that was part of it. But for the most part, I've got no time for these two certain long time customers snitching mask policing assholes whom this owner has for whatever reason given carte blanche to say and do whatever they want to customers. Even um, one customer was was asked, oh, where's your mask you should be wearing your mask um and in case the owner hasn't noticed there's hardly anyone going to his cafe anymore and i know i'm not the only one who feels this way but i told him quite bluntly um go look just tell him straight up it's because of those two of these two cunts uh, i've got no time for it and that's the way it is I've actually been enjoying my new cafe um, a lot, a lot more, and um, even though I'm to I'm pure blood, proudly, um, no one, two, three, four, one thousand jabs for me. Thank you very much. And uh, the owner of this new cafe was actually nice enough to say, "Look, regardless of your vac status, if it rains outside, just come inside." This is why I give them my my cafe money. All right? It's that simple. You speak with your money, people. In a world which puts so much importance on money, you speak with your money, with your spending power. Which, of course, is a small symbol for the deeper, broader power that we actually have in so many other areas of life. But anyway, um, and just remember, to speak the truth is a lonely path. Fluctuating YouTube um, subscriber algorithm notwithstanding. <laughs> the uh, lone, sarcastic lone wolf on guitar out.